This is part 77 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to implement date picker functionality in an ASP.NET web form using jQuery date picker widget. So here is what we want to achieve. As soon as this date of birth text box receives focus, we want a calendar to pop up. And as soon as we select a date from the calendar, we want that selected date to be populated within this date of birth text box and the calendar should disappear. This is very easy to achieve using the jQuery date picker widget. So here is the HTML that we need. This literal text date of birth to produce that text on the web form. And then we have an ASP.NET text box control. Notice we have set the ID of the text box to TXT date. So that's the HTML we need. And then we need one line of jQuery code. So within the jQuery ready function, find the text box control by ID. So here we are using the jQuery ID selector, finding the text box. And on that, we're calling the date picker function. So that's all there to it. I have this exact HTML and jQuery code already typed on this web form. So here we have the HTML and within the ready function, we're calling the date picker function. So when we view this web form in the browser, this is how it looks like. And notice as soon as the state of birth text box receives focus, we have a calendar popping up. And as soon as we select a date, the selected date is populated within the text box and the calendar disappears. This date picker widget is a highly configurable plugin. There are loads of options available to customize its behavior. For the complete list of those options, please visit this URL right here. I've included a few of the options here which could be useful. So let's look at these options one by one. Let's look at this option, append text. So whatever text we specify using this option, that text will be displayed next to the date field. So on this web form here, this is the date field. And if we use this option and specify some text, that will be displayed next to that text box. So let's go ahead and specify the options. And how do we specify options? Use a JavaScript object and pass that to the date picker function. So the first option that we want to specify is append text. And let's say we want you know this text to be displayed next to that date field text box. Let's save the changes, reload this page, and look at this. So here we have the text displayed, and this is basically telling the user that the date format here should be an MMDDYYY format. Let's look at this show on option. This option dictates when the date picker should appear. Now, by default, the date picker appears when the text box receives focus. So that's the default behavior. On many of the web applications, you might have noticed that next to that date field, there will be a small calendar icon. And when you click on that icon, that's when the calendar pops up. So if you want that button to be displayed next to the text box, then set show on option to button. But if you want both, in the sense when the text box receives focus, you know, you want to pop up the calendar as soon as when the user clicks the button, you know, even at that point, if you want to pop up the calendar, then set this option to both. So let's go ahead and set that to both. So the name of the option is show on, and I'm going to set that to both. Let's save the changes. Let's reload this page. Now a button should appear. Notice that when I click that, the calendar pops up. Similarly, when the text box receives focus, even then the calendar pops up. But if you look at this button now, at the moment it doesn't have any text on that. We have got three dots in there. But if you want to associate some text to this button, then use this button text property. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's say we want this text calendar to be displayed on that button. So let's save the changes, reload this page, and look at that. We have the text displayed there. Date format. This is very useful at the moment. Notice the format that we have. When we select a date, look at that. The format is MMDDYYY. Now let's say if you want the format to be DDMMYYY, then you can specify that using this date format option. So date format, DD, MM, and YYY. So we only have to use two Ys. So let's save the changes, reload this page, 
and look at this when I select 20th we now have DD MM and the year number of months this dictates the number of months to show at once so basically if you look at the calendar right now we only have one month displayed if you want more than one month to be displayed then you can use this number of months option so let's go ahead and specify number of months as two now the calendar should display two months June and July okay change month change year these are very useful options now if you look at this calendar at the moment you know it's displaying the current month and year June 2015 now if we have to go back you know let's say for example to 2005 then you know you'll have to click it on you know several times now that's because at the moment month and year are displayed using a label instead of a label if you have a drop down list then it will be much easier to navigate to the month that we need you know month and year so simply select the month from the drop down list and year from the drop down list and you're there okay so if you want to do that then use these two options change month change year set them to true so let's go ahead and do that change month let's set that to true similarly change year let's set that to true as well so now notice that month is displayed as a drop down list similarly year is displayed as a drop down list now if I want to go to 2006 April you know we are there min date max date so basically these two options you know control the minimum date and maximum date that you want to display within the calendar so let's go ahead and specify those two options so min date and one thing to keep in mind when specifying min date and max date is that we specify them using date object and uh, you know the month number in JavaScript starts from zero so zero for Jan January one for February so on and so forth so for December it's 11 not 12 so let's say we want our min date to be 1 you know 2001 or 2005 is the year and month number one and day number one okay similarly let's go ahead and specify max date so let's say we want the max date to be 2015 11th month that is December 31st okay so let's save the changes reload this page and look at what we have in the drop down list we have the months here from Jan to December and we have the years from 2005 to 2015 okay now localization to localize the date picker then reference the corresponding localization file the list of all localization files can be found at this URL so when you navigate to that URL notice that here we've got several date picker JS files and the important thing to keep in mind here is the naming convention look at that the name starts with date picker and we have dash and then two letters there those two letters are the language codes for example if you want to display the month and weekday names in German then you will have to use this file because that's the German localized file date picker dash de dot js so at the moment if you look at the calendar that we have here notice that the months are displayed in English and the weekdays are also displayed in English if you want them to be in German then use the German localized file okay so I have already downloaded this localized version of German file and I pasted that within my application so now let's go ahead and reference that within our page okay so let's save the changes let's reload this page and look at what's going to happen the to the month names look at that they are now in German 
and similarly the weekday names are also in German okay and if you look at that localized file we don't have you know any complicated code here all they are doing is setting the options for the date picker widget okay so basically they're specifying what the close text should be what is the previous text should be in German similarly what should be the month names in German what should be the month name you know short month names in German similarly day names day name short day name minimum you know week header all those options are specified here so if you want for example to support French then you should have a French version of the localized file okay so here we have the French version you know dash fr similarly if you want to support English Great Britain you have en hyphen GB similarly one for English New Zealand en hyphen NZ thank you for listening and have a great day